Welcome to this week's Your Money Questions Answered video. This is where I answer the questions posted to me by my newsletter subscribers. So remember, not only do you need to subscribe to the YouTube channel, you also need to subscribe to the Maya on Money newsletter. You'll see the link in the post below. This last week, I had the same question from two different people, which tells me that there's some, uh, obviously people are starting to think a little bit about buying homes. And the question was, should I use a personal loan or a home loan when buying a house? This is a very interesting one for me because what I've realized is that people don't understand how a home loan works. So the, the reason for that question is that people say, well, it's going to take, if I take a home loan, it's going to take me 20 years to pay off the house. Whereas if I take a personal loan, it's only going to take me five years, maybe 10 years, but I could take out a personal loan for five years. What you need to realize is you can take out a home loan for five years. A home loan is a default of 20 years, but you can make it whatever figure you want it to be. If you want to make it five years, 10 years, 15 years, you can. Or if you already have a home loan of 20 years, you can simply pay in more and pay it off over five years. And the thing is, a home loan, the interest rate on a home loan is substantially lower than that of a personal loan. So it makes a lot more sense it does, to, to stick with a home loan. So the question in this particular case actually was, do I take a personal loan pay off my home loan and then pay the personal loan. No, it doesn't make sense at all. If you can afford to increase your repayments to your home loan, do it that way. There's only one time that a personal loan could make sense. And that is if over say you can actually afford, you're buying a relatively low um, house. There are some in the gap housing that's maybe 500,000 and you can actually afford a personal loan over five years. You do save money on the initial fees. So those initial fees um, of, you, you remember, you have a, a mortgage um, fee, a mortgage registration fee with the bank, um, and you also have bond registration fees with the bank. So you can save on those if you go for a personal loan, but you need to do the maths very carefully. You may be paying so much more interest on that personal loan that it still makes financial sense to pay those bond registration fees and the lower interest. So what you need to do is ask the bank and find out what would that cost me in total. By the time I've paid you all those fees plus interest, what is my total cost going to be? So I think that's the only time that I would uh, suggest that you do need to run the numbers. But otherwise, you know, if you really have a home loan and you want to pay it off quickly, just pay an extra money. There is so much information on my website uh, that explains just how to do that. So keep reading and keep subscribing.